Hello everyone, Chef's Resources, aka Chef David, here with you today, and we're going to do a quick demo on how to properly mince shallots. But before I get to that, let me give you a quick disclaimer. If you slice yourself open practicing this, don't blame me for your learning curve mishap, alright? Go get your stitches and move on. Every good cook gets sliced at some point. We've all got the stitches to prove it. So anyways, with that, we'll get to it. So let's first of all discuss how not to mince shallots. Using a Roboku or Cuisinart or other food processor may get the job done, but it doesn't mince shallots. It shreds them, it pulverizes them, it mushes them up. It might work for some applications, but for mince shallots, no, it's not the way to do it. So, how do you properly mince shallots? With your chef's knife, of course. Alright, so first of all, if you're starting with a unpeeled shallot, you want to leave a little bit, or actually quite a bit, of the root end on here. So I'm just going to shave a very thin amount of that off. This will help for getting your slicing and holding the thing intact while you do the whole process. So once you've got it all peeled, you'll take the root end, put it in the back. There's basically three different ways that you can get your cuts on this. First is to stand it upright, again with the root on the bottom, and we'll make slices going almost all the way through. You want to go down into the root, but not all the way through the shallot. So that's the first method. Next method is to hold it like this make horizontal slices where you're coming all the way or almost all the way through down to the root. The last way is to hold your hand really bowed, okay? I'm bowing it up so that my hand is as far away from the shallot as possible and again make those slices. Now this is probably the most dangerous of these three methods to do it because you do have the possibility of slicing the bottom of your hand here, but again you're keeping it bowed and you're not doing it like this, you're not doing it like this, and you certainly don't want to do it this way. It's proper to do it this way when you're going to mince, but not when you're doing it um, on the horizontal slice, because if your knife goes all the way through that slicer or through that shallot, you're going to end up with some stitches right here in the heel of your hand. So then the next part is taking your knife and doing some slice cuts here towards the root. You'll notice that I'm slicing through. I'm not just pushing straight down here. And then finally, doing some slices, getting a nice mince out of that. Get down to the root end, save what you can, and then discard the root. Now you'll probably end up with some pieces that still need to be hand minced a little bit because of uh, not getting all the way through to the very bottom of the root. large, you're going to have some very beautiful, 
evenly against your shallots. So we end up basically with two kinds of shallots here as far as processes go. We've got your slasher shallots and we've got your minced shallots. Slasher shallots are done in a Roboku, Cuisinart, other food processor. It'll mash them up, shred them, pulverize them, so on and so forth. And it's okay for some things, but not if you're looking for a minced shallot. Over here, done with your chef knife, you end up with a real nice minced shallot. Well, there you have it.